But it's been one week since the AFRAM festivities kicked off at Druid Hill Park. Hundreds of thousands of people enjoyed the weekend event. Tomorrow, the Pride Parade begins at the very same location. WMER 2 News' Brittany Verner sat down with Mayor Brandon Scott, who says this weekend they're anticipating the same a fun and safe Pride event. Today, Mayor Scott talked about some of the takeaways when it comes to keeping people safe at these large events, and it starts with implementing the same security measures that have been successful. We had a great safe AFRAM, which we always do. We had a great safe CIAA. We had the same thing uh, when we had the Preakness. We had the same thing with Paul McCartney when thousands and thousands of people get together in Baltimore in peace. And Mayor Scott says they are anticipating the same success for any large events moving forward. Last week, more than 200,000 people attended AFRAM for the first time since the pandemic. This year, there were some new safety measures, including keeping people safe from COVID. We were reminding people continuously that, you know, COVID is still real. If you were there, you know there was a lot of hand sanitizer uh, going on out there. They even had folks, we were actually even vaccinating folks out there. Scott says this is an example of what it looks like for the best of Baltimore to come together and have a good time while collaborating with city leaders, which is exactly what they are looking forward to during this weekend's Pride Parade. Yeah, we'll be having that kind of kind of collaboration as Pride will be in Drew Hill Park this weekend as well, supporting uh, folks uh, and their right to be there to celebrate their culture. It just shows uh, that's what we do, right? And we know that we can do that, but it also to me shows that we can do that every day if we everyone works together. Bringing people together in peace and unity to just enjoy each other's company was the mission for AFRAM. And again, that was a success and they are hopeful the same will continue for this weekend's Pride events. Brittany Verner, WMAR 2 News.